Merry Christmas everyone, welcome back to the channel um, I know we've been away for a while, right? We've been training some of our students in the last um, training batch and um, it's been really positive, you know If you ask any of the students what they thought about the training um, they'll be so positive, they've learned a lot and we are positioning them now, you know, to start putting out their applications so that they can get job in the new year, which is good um yeah i would encourage you all to please subscribe to our youtube channel please comment like on our videos this will encourage us to push more content more useful content for you please 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 share with your friends and family we really appreciate that's how we can grow together in this community um today we'll be talking about sprint planning which is one of the most important agile ceremony that uh, you want to know everything about sprint planning if you're a scrum master if you're working in an agile team you know trust me this is one of the most important you know agile ceremony you need to know now before we proceed it's important that you refer to our last video where we talked about backlog grooming ceremony it's really important because this sets a base you know sets the pace for the sprint planning and that's how you can really plan your sprints effectively so i'll link the i'll link the video up you kindly watch that and then we go sprint planning right as you know without a plan you have limited chances of succeeding in anything in life so basically we start with sprint planning as the name implies planning right so what do we do in a sprint planning ceremony pretty easy now scrum has made this easy so that it's easy to actually implement and that's the whole essence of scrum in the first place and that's why business get so much value in implementing scrum so what happens in scrum first we start with defining the goal right so we all need to work towards a goal so once we have the goal defined and this is true collaboration with the product owner you know the development team the scrum masters also have input into that so we define the goal of the sprint what do we want to achieve at this point that really sets the pace or the tone for what you complete in your sprint in your sprint basically now we know that a sprint can be minimum of one week maximum of four weeks so depending on what your team agrees to be the sprint length you plan enough work for that duration so for example if you're running a two-week sprint in your organization what you need to do is to plan enough work to fit into two weeks duration of the sprint which is 10 days basically so how do we approach that? How do we determine how much work would be sufficient for 10 days? That takes us to our next point, which is estimation. So what happens during estimation, right? So the development team, you know, clarifies the back, product backlog item with the product owner or scrum and staff, as the case may be, just to get enough understanding about the product backlog item. Now, remember in our last ceremony or our last video we talked about the importance of backlog grooming now we are assuming that our product backlog is prioritized along value lines that means the most important thing to be implemented is on top of the backlog so the development team you know collaborate clarify the product backlog item from the topmost which is prioritized and we deliver the most value to the business at that particular point in time now once you understand the product backlog item it's easy to actually estimate we have several estimation techniques that would be discussed in another video but what is important to know is that you can use any of you know three point estimation relative estimation story point estimation to actually estimate the backlog item now if you want to use a three-point estimation for example which is your optimistic four times uh, most likely plus your pessimistic divided by six 
which is the formula, the development team will pick a product backlog item and determine the kind of effort required to complete that work. So for example, if a product backlog item will take two days to implement, you know for a 10 day work period, you need to take how many? Five product backlog items and that will make up the product, the item that will be implemented in the sprint. Now this item are moved to the sprint backlog. Now sprint backlog is a, is a is an agile artifact. So you put your product backlog item for sprint in it. Sprint backlog where you can now have visibility into what we need to implement in that sprint. Now another thing that you need to do in a sprint planning session is to agree on your definition of done if you don't already have it on organizational level but then what is definition of done definition of done simply means a shared understanding right for the whole team to understand when an item is considered done so it can be we have actually you know developed we've designed developed we've tested there's unit testing you know all of that and we've deployed this item that is when we consider an item done what that will do for us is that whenever we say we are done with the product backlog item it means okay it's been designed it's been tested it's been developed it's been tested it's been deployed and we all understand that oh this backlog item is done so once we achieve that we pretty much have a plan for the sprint so can somebody else guess what else you're doing the sprint planning ah uh, leave me a comment in the video so we can discuss further but basically universally that those are the activities you do during backlog uh, during your sprint planning session join me in the next video we'll talk about another sprint ceremony called daily stand up thank you for watching please remember to like comment subscribe to this video really appreciate thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video cheers guys